Hey everyone, it's Jeannie from A1 Vacuum and Sewing and I'm getting ready to do the dimensional skirts. So with the dimensional skirts, you are gonna need your six by six piece of purple organza and your six by six piece of silver organza. And you should have cut your ribbon, your printed ribbon into two 12 inch pieces. Maybe we'll come over here and do this together. So here are my, here's my, um, my purple and my, um, is this gray? It's my silver, my silver dot organza. And um, the purple is going to go on the wire dress form and then the um, silver is going to go on the solid dress form. But I mean, really, you could do anything you want. And then I cut my pieces of tape measure into two 12 inch pieces. So what we're going to do first is we are going to do a basting stitch. So you're going to take one of your pieces or both of your pieces and you want the glitter facing out. This can be a messy job and you're going to fold it in half and we are going to do a basting stitch on the very top that we're going to pull to gather it. And this end right here is going to be your folded end. Um, I have a serger and if I was just doing this for me, I would just do on the serger with a stitch length of a four and a four thread overlock um, because that would put two rows of basting stitches in that would make it really easy to pull. But I'm just gonna go ahead and show you how to do it on the sewing machine. So we're gonna do both of these. So we're gonna fold both of them out, both of them up. It's really hard to see which side is the glitter side, but you can kind of feel it. It's a little bit bumpier than the other side. Let's go over to the sewing machine and I will show you how to gather it. So on your sewing machine, you're going to set your stitch length to your longest stitch length. So I'm just doing a center straight stitch and I'm going to take my stitch length and go all the way up to a five. So a stitch length of a five. You do want to have tails. So you want to bring your thread up manually and I'm just leaving this green in here because it'll just make it easier to see. So I'm going to grab this. I have my dual feed walking foot and just my regular sole on. And then we're going to bring this thread up. I know so many times you don't bring up the thread some people don't even know how to bring it up so you just put it in that same you need to go in the tension disc but you're not going to come around here and cut it you're just going to grab your upper thread in one hand and you are going to and make sure you're holding on to it you're just going to go needle down needle up I'm going to put my foot back up and I'm just going to pop up my bobbin thread and you know what? it's a little hard with that dual feed on there we go. And actually, I could have just pulled it right in the center. So now we have our uh, bobbin thread to the top too, and it's long. Otherwise, it's going to be too short for you to pull. And when you do this, you're not going to use your cutter because you want it to be long on the other side too. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and fold this over. Again, feel where it's bumpier, and that's your outside. And I'm just going to go ahead and fold this in half. So you're just going to go ahead and finger press that. Your stitch length is already as long as you can make it. I really like doing this with uh, two rows of um, basting stitches, but we're going to just do it with one. And it says fold organs in half, glitter side out, machine sew a basting stitch with a scant quarter inch from the wrong edge because that is going to get uh, sewn in. So for my machine, my needle is in line with this center line and this is a quarter inch. So I'm not going to go quite to that quarter inch, which will give me a scant. Not sure what happened there, but oh darn it. My thread's cut. That was kind of strange. Hang on. Let me bring up the bobbin thread again. I don't even know how that happened, but that's fine. We're just going to grab the upper one, needle down, needle up, and just pop up between the opening in your front of your foot. That was really, really strange. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put my foot down, and let's go ahead and sew along this edge. Just 
to make sure your edges are even. It goes really fast because now we're going at five millimeters, which is probably longer than you usually go. Put your foot up and don't use your cut button. Just pull this long so you have something to pull. And it should look like this. You should have long threads on both sides. Okay, I'm gonna put that down. Just don't wanna assume everyone's done basting stitches. I usually ask people at the store when I do something like a serger class and lots of people have never done it before. So again, I can feel the glitter. Find the side that the glitter is on. That's your outside. There's your scant quarter inch. And then go ahead, keep those edges lined up. I'm gonna heat up my iron and just give this a little bit of a press too. With a pressing cloth, you don't want to, and don't use your cut button. I'm gonna put my needle up, my foot up, and I'm just gonna pull so it's nice and long. And there we go. Okay. Okay, so I'm over here at my pressing station. I'm just gonna give this a little press. So I have my Teflon sheet right here. Just gonna give it a quick little press. And that looks perfect. I'm gonna do this one too. Glitter is getting everywhere. And that looks perfect too. All right, so let's look at the directions again. What it says is it says, hold bobbin thread on one end and slide organza to gather. Continue to gather until the organza is the same width as the, uh, the waist on the dress form. So here is my quilt. Here is my wire dress form right here. The purple's gonna go onto this one. So I'm just gonna go ahead and you wanna grab one thread. I'm gonna grab my purple and I'm just gonna go ahead and gather it. And you can grab from either end. For some reason that side's not pulling so I'm just gonna go ahead and pull from this one side. I'm okay with that. And she's got a little teeny tiny waist. Look how little that is. And we can spread those ruffles out later to make it look really, really pretty. So, um, and then the other one will do the same thing. I'm gonna grab my green thread see if it's pulling from this side. This side is pulling. And I can tie this in a knot. The more times you tie it around your finger, the bigger of a knot that you'll get. One, two, one, two, three. That's a mess. We'll just leave it out here like that. And then we'll go ahead and gather it in just a little bit. So um, it says, hold bobbin thread, same width. And step four says, place printed ribbon right side down. So here's my ribbon right here. And it wants you to find the center of the ribbon. So I'm just gonna fold mine in half. And it wants you to go right side down. So here's my center right here, and it wants you to place that center right here on the edge of the left side of the skirt. So there's my center, and I'm placing it right on the left side of the skirt. And it says, um, with organza skirt covering, place 
printed ribbon right side down with the center of the ribbon to the left of the waist on the dress form. With organza skirt covering the top of the dress form, place raw edges of the skirt in the center of the ribbon, pin in place, so organza to dress form on top edge of the ribbon. What I'm going to do just to make it a little bit easier is I'm just going to put a stitch right here, right over here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to do that with a stitch length of a two. I know that's really tiny, but I just love a two. And let me do that one more time. So I'm going to go ahead and find my center. I feel like that's the top of my ribbon. I'm going to lay it down right there. I can see where it goes. And I'm just going to stitch that first because I feel like that is going to help hold it in place for me. Alrighty. Now I'm gonna take my purple organza and that way when I go to tie it, it'll just be this nice little side section over here. Now if you look at the picture from the book, it wants you to put your organza center of the ribbon I just gave mine a little stitch and then we're going to put this skirt up. So the fold is facing up and the raw edge is right here. Um, flip organza over. So we're going to sew it down to the top edge of the ribbon. So right there, we're just going to give it a little stitch. If you want to use a pin, you can. I'm just going to go ahead and pull this part of my skirt in. If you need to finagle it a little bit, that is totally fine. I'm going to turn this. Could use my directional sewing. that right at the top and I'm gonna push this side in with my fingers make sure you don't stitch over that take this and fold it down. I'll trim all these little threads later. And then we're going to just give this a little tie over here on the side. And to be honest, I think it's going to look better if you tie the ribbon, if you give it a little stitch over here on the side too. It'll just kind of hold everything down. And then we're just gonna go ahead, let's clip all these threads. Make sure all of these are clipped. Skirt a little knot 
right over here. And there's one skirt, and you can kind of fluff it out however you want to fluff it out. Whoops, peeking under her skirt. All right, and I'm giving the view from the underside, but that is one down. And I think I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing on the other one. Just uh, I think that just makes it a little easier. Just um, sewing it down on the left and the right side. Let's hold that up and see if you can see it. And it looks like that, which is super cute. And then we have the little knot right on top of it. Okay, let's do the next one. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my ribbon again, my other piece. So I'm changing it a little bit because they don't have you stitching it down. But um, I just think it makes it a little bit easier. I'm gonna stitch it right here, right on the very outside edge. My next organza skirt and I'm gonna I'm going to stitch it right over here too all righty let's go ahead and pull this in on both sides I'm going to stitch it down up here on the top. I'm going to have to turn it. This is when you need like uh, eight hands. I'm going to stitch it right over here. The top part of the skirt. This is just called making it happen. Alrighty, let's go ahead and trim up all these threads. down get those threads too
and that looks adorable. And here is the second one, which looks so cute. And we'll go ahead and we'll trim this down too. So you won't have so much of that hanging off. We'll go ahead and give that a little trim, but we are done with the organza skirts.